Fellow countrymen, today's referendum doesn't have winners and losers. It's a big victory by itself. Today, together, we wrote a glorious page in European history. We proved that even in the worst circumstances, democracy can be blackmailed and is a dominant value and an alternative option. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have two、uh, two crises to talk about here with、uh, Stephen Malanga, senior fellow of the Manhattan Institute and、uh, editor, senior editor of City Journal, author of Shakedown: The Continuing Conspiracy Against the American Taxpayer. There it is on your screen. Hello, sir. Good、How、to see you. How are you? All right. Let, let, why don't we start with with Greece? Okay. Because、uh, Greece is the word. <laughs> Um, you know the, the markets have been all over the place since this、uh, yeah. happened、uh, last week, up, down, all around. But but what is the end game here? I mean, is it possible that Germany and the, the European Union, especially Germany, gets hurt more than Greece does in the long run? I don't think so. And I think the fact that even in the uh, uh, in the wake of the no vote, the markets did not go absolutely crazy.、No. Tells you that、uh, the markets don't think that's what's going to happen. I don't think there's a single end game we can talk about right now, but there's really only two or three. I mean, basically, one is that the Greeks accept some kind of a deal with further austerity, and the European Union then moves in and、uh, bails them out with a little bit of extra money, or they don't. In which case, I think they have to exit the euro, which is a far bigger mess than most Greeks who voted against us yeah, understand. Yeah, absolutely.、Uh, you're not surprised. I mean, the government urged them to vote. Yeah, no, no not. Uh, but but I mean, as as we sit here and we talk, I mean,、uh, it, it doesn't seem like Greece is being very cooperative. And and and、uh, uh, Merkel says there's no no need to have talks yet because Greece is coming to the table with nothing. So where 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 did the two sides go? Well, formally, the Greek government is supposed to, in the wake of this vote, be actually formulating、yeah. a new proposal to give. But they haven't done that. But、yet. they haven't and they haven't done it yet. In part because they said they were going to go to their、uh, to the other parties and and try to come up、okay. with a you know so. It's taking some time. I think the real reason it's taking some time is there is no easy exit from this. They owe tons of money. The people they owe it to are saying,、uh, "If you want us to help you, you you've got to give us some more." They don't want to give more. <laughs> Something has to give. Absolutely. All right. Let's take it a little closer to home and talk about、uh, Puerto Rico. And、uh, they say that、uh, they can't afford their debt. They're 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 going belly up as well. And that that affects us, I, I would imagine,、uh, financially speaking, and as a nation, a little bit more directly than than Greece does. Potentially, it does. Because Puerto Rico, a lot of Puerto Rico's debt is actually in municipal bonds that are hold, held either by、um, individual Americans or by bond funds, which Americans have their money in. Which is not the case with Greece. No. Yeah. No. And one of the reasons this is true is because the federal government, for years, actually gave an additional tax advantage to Puerto Rico's debt, which encouraged people to buy, buy the bonds. The bonds yeah. <laughs> More, be, it's a kind of a triple tax-free、uh, yes. status、yes. for a lot of Americans, and a lot of people, wealthier people, snapped them up for that reason. Uh, so that's a little bit closer to home. All right. So what's what, what, what's the problem?、Uh, what happened in Puerto Rico, and why, where are we headed with that crisis? I think you've got multiple problems in Puerto Rico. First of all, they've been spending an awful lot of money. Uh, it, uh, they have a very big public sector relative、uh, to their economy. They also, of course, have a struggling economy that is nowhere near the equivalent of most American states. Their standard of living is about half the average American <coughs> state. So that in itself is a problem that's not going away. In addition, there's one other problem that I don't think gets a lot of discussion really, but should, and that is that Puerto Rico as a territory is forced to follow certain American laws that make it. Difficult for them to run their economy. They have to follow, for instance, America's minimum wage law. The problem with that is the average wage in Puerto Rico、it's、is low. so low.、Yeah. Exactly. Minimum wage is、uh, is、Ex、a great living. Exactly. All right, all right. So, so what does this mean?、Uh, uh, could this set a precedent if if Puerto Rico, you know, goes bankrupt? I mean, could could states and、uh, you know here in the United、right. States then use what happens to Puerto Rico as a precedent and say, you know, here we're we're bankrupt in this aspect too? And、uh, I mean, is that a, a threat?、Right. So here's the deal: Puerto Rico as a territory can't officially go bankrupt by our laws in the same way that the States can't go bankrupt.、Right. State municipalities can go bankrupt.、Yes. So Puerto Rico is kind of suing or, or asking Congress to change the law in some way, either to allow some of their public entities—they have like their gas company,、uh, right. the electric company is public, their power company—to let them go bankrupt, or actually to let Puerto Rico go bankrupt. Now. 
So far, there's been resistance to that. If Congress were to do that, it would really change the game with respect to some states and state entities that are in trouble. And the question would be, for instance, whether Illinois couldn't go to Congress and say, well, let us put our public sec pension funds, which are a mess, or New and Jersey, yeah. or New Jersey yeah. let us put them into bankruptcy, oh, too. Boy. So could it set a precedent? I think possibly it could. Uh, maybe that's one reason why Congress hasn't acted yet. All right, but they're going to they're gonna have to do something. So Greece and Puerto Rico, and uh, we will keep uh, watching. Great to talk to you. Good and to see you again, it in, 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 you know, interesting, simplistic terms that we could <laughs> all uh, comprehend and grasp. Thanks. Good talking to you. Yeah. All right, folks. Uh, when we come back, the Director of Media Analysis at the Media Research Center. Tim Graham will join us. We'll talk a little bit of uh, Hillary roping off the media. Don't go away.